Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Habari zenu wapendwa. Habari zenu wapendwa. Kama ilivyo kawaida mwanijua mwanitambua sasa. Maana mimi kila siku nazungumza na nyinyi na natumai na mwanitambua. Kama mimi Fatma binti Wazir Ibrahim Fatuma Ibrahim Leo tunazungumzia jinsi ya kuwatunza wanadada wa kazi. Kwa kimombo unasema ya kwamba how to treat our our nannies or our maids inside the house inside our houses. Unajua sasa siku hizi watu wamekuwa wakifanya kazi tuseme kama vile wanandoa wameoana. Sasa tuseme ukifanya kazi lazima ukue na mwanadada ndani ya nyumba. And if you have a maid you know how to treat your maid. You should first of all ndani ya nyumba inakuwa kuna some of them they are not working some of them are working. But in general anazungumzia in general in generally. I'm talking about our nannies in general. Yeah. And I'm talking to the whole world. Everybody who has a nanny should treat our nannies equally and we should treat them with a lot of love and care like they are our sisters or our mothers. Yeah, because nowadays unaweza pata tunapata wafanyakazi wako na umri tuseme mtu ni mzee kwa na familia yake but anashikilia anataka tu job ile ashikilie for th- for not because they are old but they want to they need that job so that they can fulfill their upkeeps yeah sasa so we should treat them well yeah how do you see the world please comment down below on this channel yeah you comment of this you comment there and i'll be able to see your comments na tutazungumza kwa comment section muniambie nyinyi wafanyikazi wa wa nyumbani tunafaa kuwa treat vipi na upendo mimi naweza kusema na upendo tuwa treat kama our sisters na kama mtu ana uwezo wa kumnunulia msichana simu unaweza mnunulia and allah maybe for me i'm a muslim I, we normally say allah for you christians i know we just say god and i know so and god is going to to appreciate you in whichever way utakuona umemfanyia made jambo fulani wengine Mwenyezi Mungu naye anakulipa unaona mambo yako yanaenda vizuri for example today i have a topic about our nannies you know what you leave your nanny at home with your kids na ukirudi nyumbani unapata watoto wako sawa wako hai amepika yani if you see your house the house is neat and we should find a way of thanking our nannies yeah if you go to let's say toy market if you go to isili if you go to gikosh you can look some clo- some good clothes for them yeah and sometimes you can take them with you so that they can go and fit to the they can go to the toy market and see some of the good outfits for themselves and that unaona ukimfanyia mfanyikazi hivyo naye ndani ya nyumba at least atakuwa na ile what we call what we call moral they will be working so hard they will be ha- working with a lot of love they will take care of your children with a lot of love knowing that my boss is a good boss my boss has always been taking good care of me and they should you should not discriminate them with your children at you buy let's say your fridge you have a fridge it has yogurt it has milk it has this it has fruits you have many things but you keep you discriminate you are made you just tell her you should not eat food from the fridge let's say kama kuna chakula zimebaki jana that is the food that you are giving the maid no handle them well let them 
let them eat what they want and then they will appreciate you they will know there is no any discrimination here they will be able to work with you taking good care of your children they, they, you know what it it only depends with how you treat your nannies you know i've been having i've been seeing stories on social media on the facebook pages on tuko i saw a lot of stories about maid who have committed a sin of murder they kill children mercilessly no na unapata maid anamua mtoto and then anamweka kwa freezer and then she leave the job because of the way you are treating her i think if you treat her well if you, you treat her well she will never have any grudge against you but if lakini nasema kweli unaona ukiwa treat ukiwa treat vibaya they will have revenge on you i was living in a certain apartment before i got married i was living in kayole in a certain apartment and inside that apartment i had some stories coming up with the some of the tenants they said that there was a murder which was committed on the same same building and i was so shocked and i could not even believe it and it was true it happened and i i saw the baby yani that maid killed that baby mercilessly i don't know i don't know what happened to that nanny or maid that yani sijui mwenye kumwajiriwa msichana the boss i don't know what they did with her with the maid because that was a very the very bad scandal that happened that day sasa unapata huo mtoto alikuwa na 6 months what is wrong with you nannies has in i'm talking to the whole world comment on the on the comment section there guys and you to and you just explain to me or you just share with me how would you see, how would you feel when your nanny try to kill your children because of the way you are treating them we should treat them well especially you should just treat them with a lot of love with a lot of care why do you do this because out of humanity out of love na for the safety of your children you see when we saw that baby that day everybody was in shock and that day i learned a lesson i don't trust nannies you know what we didn't know the the whole story about everything how it happened how the baby was murdered but the owner of the house had a cctv camera inside the house and then she went through the cctv camera the baby was having a meals and then the baby did not want to have a meals and then nataka ni explain na Kiswahili hapa ndo watu wote waweze kuelewa and then the baby was given a lot of food the maid alimchukua mtoto akamshika vizuri and then akamshika mapua the maid holds na the baby's nose to feed the baby because the baby was not was not the baby did not want to eat that time and then she took that i think it was porridge i think it was porridge she poured that porridge inside the baby's mouth by force and she was holding the nose and the the baby I think the baby was not able to breathe and then the porridge entered inside the wrong pipe and the baby was choked to death that is what we saw on the camera and then the baby died and the nanny took the baby for a sleep and then when the mother and the daddy come home 
the mommy just wanted to see the baby. The baby was just sleeping like the mother came a bit early at 3 p.m. And then the baby was sleeping from 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5, 6, 7. And the mom said, no, what's wrong with the baby? Today he is sleeping. The baby has slept for many, many hours today. What's wrong with my baby? Let me go and look at my baby. My baby. Maybe the baby is sick. Maybe the baby is not okay. And the nanny was refusing. She was right over there. And the nanny was looking disturbed. When you, when you look at the expression of the nanny, the nanny was, the nanny was looking disturbed. And if you look disturbed, there might, there must be something disturbing you, psychologically. And then the mother went to the bedroom, tried to awaken the baby, but the baby was not awakening up. And then the mom started screaming and crying my baby is not breathing my baby is not breathing let's take the baby to the hospital but after taking the baby to the hospital it was too late the baby had already gone the baby had died and the maid was fired and the maid was taken into the prison or the custody yeah the baby was dead and the mother lost because she must there must have a reason when something happened to you there must be a reason for it indeed nobody can just come and kill your baby for no reason maybe she had a grudge with the ma the with the mother maybe the mother has been treating her she has been giving her a lot of chores yeah and treat you should treat them with care you should not give them they sh you should give them one day off and you should let them rest sometimes i think there's a reason behind it and the nanny now served 20 years in jail but you see the mother has lost because the baby will never come up again the baby will never come back to his, his life and that is how it went and I'm really sorry for that mother so I was just encouraging you guys how we should treat our nannies at home we should treat them with love we should never discriminate them we should always care for them you buy them new stuff when you have when you have time to go with them to buy new outfit with them if you want to buy them a new mobile phone, what will you gain by just doing that? You will not lose anything, but you will gain. Yeah, you will gain because maybe God is going to do your life. He's going to put you somewhere else. Maybe if you are working in a certain company, you will be seeing things are going all right. Maybe msharo meongezeka, umepandishwa cheo. You never know because of what your deeds. That's what I believe as a Muslim. Yeah. Another thing. Another thing I was talking about today is that our maid, we should give them, we should give our maids time to rest. We should give them off on a weekend, let's say on Sunday. She sh of course, she should not do anything. Let's say she should not do anything on that Sunday. I personally, I have a maid and uh, on Sunday, I've given her one off, of which is on Sunday. And she normally dress the way she wants. She meet with friends, she go to church, she does everything. But at 7 p.m., she should be back. And that night, she's, she's not going to work. In fact, I, only, I always treat her like she's the boss on that day. I cook for her. I serve her dinner. She just, she should feel good because she make me feel good the all of the week. Why can't her make her feel good for only one day? 
and you will not lose anything by doing that because she's like my sister she's only working because she need she's working like the way i'm working let's say if i'm working into an office that is her job and guys let me tell you something that i came to realize you should never let me tell you you should never ever treat anyone at this is a nanny i should treat this person like a nanny and then kitu kingine mnafahamu juu let me put kiswahili nimezungumza kizungu for long ati usiwahi darau kazi ya mtu unaona usiwahi darau kazi ya mtu hata siku moja even if it is a watchman even if it is a nanny that is how they earn their living and that is how they provide for their family that is the thing that i came to realize you should never ever darau kazi ya mtu hata siku moja kwa sababu hata kama mtu ana ushacho you cannot you know what duniani tuko we have different kind of jobs watu ni wengi some have job some are jobless and for you you are working an, into an office but if you can never respect them you can never feed all of them you can never take care of their families let them struggle in their way no unapata life inakuwa easy mnaishi pamoja in a community and things are running well i think this is the end of this video guys i love you guys please do not forget to subscribe to my channel click the button there there's a notification bell there you can click it and if you click it you will be getting my videos whenever i post them and then there's a thumbnail there you just click that thumbnail you like my pictures i love you guys bye